हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर नीरज एंड टुडेज टॉपिक इज प्लाज्मिड वेक्टर सो विदाउट एनी डिले लेट्स मूव टू दी वीडियो सो बिफोर गोइंग इन टू प्लाज्मिड वेक्टर्स वी शूड नो दैट व्हाट आर प्लाज्मिड्स सो प्लाज्मिड्स आर एक्स्ट्रा क्रोमोजोमल डीएनए मॉलिक्यूल्स व्हिच आर प्रेजेंट इन बैक्टीरिया मीन्स इन अ बैक्टीरियल सेल देर आर टू काइंड ऑफ डी एन इज द chromosomal dna which ultimately form the genome of a bacterial cell and beside the chromosomal dna the bacterial cell they also contain extra chromosomal dna which is known as plasmid and it is generally double stranded and autonomously or you can say self replicating molecule and these plasmids they help bacteria in many ways like there may be some resistance plasmids which give resistance to a particular molecule or a chemical means the bacteria which have resistance plasmids they are resistant to some specific chemicals similarly some plasmid they give degradative power to the bacterial cell like for example toll plasmid so due to toll plasmid the bacteria can degrade toluene so these plasmids they give unique property or some extra characteristics to the bacterial cells so the extra chromosomal dna is known as the plasmids now what are the property of a plasmid vector so the property of plasmid vector include first oocyte which is the origin of replication means this is the site from where the replication start or which is required for the replication of this plasmid inside the host cell means when we placed our plasmid vector into the host cell so it will replicate autonomously due to this origin of replication or ori site second it also contain a resistance marker means this plasmid they contain certain genes which provide resistance against specific compounds like for example amp gene ampicillin gene it give resistance against the ampicillin so the plasmid which have ampicillin gene and it will give resistance against the ampicillin so the host which acquire this plasmid it will ultimately become resistance against the ampicillin the next property is multiple cloning sites means these plasmid vector they have multiple cloning site which have restriction sites so we can cleave these mcs with restriction enzymes and insert our gene of interest into the plasmid vector beside this this plasmid vector can also have promoter if the vector is expression vector so we can include promoter in the plasmid vector and promoter is a you can say it is a, a sequence from where transcription of the gene started so we can also add promoter to the plasmid vector example promoters are like p lac promoter p trip promoter etc and this these plasmid vector may also contain ribosomal binding site this is also the case of expression plasmid or expression vector so in that case we can also add the ribosomal binding site so these are the properties of a plasmid vector now let discuss example of plasmid vector so plasmid vector like there are a series of plasmid vector first is the pb3 r20 pbr322 another series is puck8 series and beside these east plasmids are also there so let's discuss these plasmid first the pbr322 vector here this p stand for the plasmid br stand for the scientist who made it that is bolivar and rodriguez and this 322 it is uh, you can say it is a strain number which is given to the plasmid and it it distinguish this plasmid from the other plasmid which are made in the same laboratory like pbr322 pbr323 so it means 322 and 323 they are made in the same laboratory so this number it distinguish one plasmid from other which are developed in or which are made in the same laboratory here is the structure of, or you can say the component of this pbr322 so it contain origin of replication which is shown here in the red color so due to this origin of replication or oocyte it can replicate inside the host cell 
and generally this origin of replication is taken from the coal even plasmid the second component are the is the antibiotic resistant genes so this pbr322 plasmid it contain two resistant genes first is the bla gene or amp resistant gene which ultimately give resistance to the ampicillin and other is the tetra tet gene or tetracycline resistance gene which give resistance to the tetracycline so the host which acquire this plasmid will ultimately become resistance against the ampicillin and tetracycline another component is the cloning sites so here this is the site which have unique restriction or you can say recognition sites for the restriction enzymes so this contain like site for the eco r1 pst1 pvu1 and similarly this tetracycline resistance gene it contain the recognition site for bam h1 and hind3 restriction enzymes so these are the components of this plasmid pbr322 the size of this plasmid vector is 4.36 kb next series is the puck vector here puck means this vector was developed in the university of california hence named after the university of california and p stand for plasmid so here puck means plasmid university of california and here the components of this puck 19 vector it include first is origin of replication as it is required for the replication inside the host cell another multiple cloning sites where we can insert our gene and other marker genes it have two marker gene first is the ampicillin gene which give resistance against the ampicillin and another is the lac z gene which code for the beta galactosidase this gene this lac z gene it helps in the identification of the host cell which contain this puck 19 plasmid vector the size of this puck 19 vector is 2.6 kb next east 2 micrometer plasmid beside pbr322 and puck series of plasmid vector east also contain plasmid which is known as the east 2 micrometer plasmid it is also the double stranded circular dna molecule which is present in the east and what are the feature of this east plasmid vector so they have the origin of replication for the both that is e coli and east second they also have unique restriction sites for their cloning and they also contain selectable marker which and they contain a selectable marker for both for the e coli and east this east two micrometer plasmids so they may be either first east integrative plasmid yip so here the name indicate east integrating plasmid so these are those plasmid which can only survive if they integrate themselves into the east chromosome so example of this vector is yip5 second type of east plasmid is east epizomal plasmid so they usually they replicate independently but some of them they integrate themselves into the chromosome so example of east epizomal plasmid is yep13 next is east replicating plasmid so these are autonomous replicating sequence based vector they are naturally extra chromosome replication due to the presence of autonomous replication sequences example of this is yrp7 and lastly the east centromeric plasmid so these are also autonomously replicating east plasmid vectors and example of this east centromeric plasmid is ycp50 so that was all about the plasmid vector and the series of plasmid vector like pbr322 puck series and the east plasmid so that's all for today guys see you in the next video thank you very much